about there? The summertime blues. Who could possibly be blue in summertime, right? Hang on, Dave. There are definitely summertime blues. And someone who knows about that and how to diagnose and maybe how to uh, definitely know how to treat is the good doctor. Dr. John Braccio, drjohnb.com. That's the website for all the podcasts. And the help is at your fingertips online 24-7. 365. He's with us now. Good morning. We're not in summer yet, but we're closing in. Well, that's why we thought this would be a good discussion. Because if you think about it, it, it just sounds odd if someone talks about seasonal affective disorder for the summer because people always think of this in terms of the winter. Well, there are people that have difficulties in the summer and mm. actually quite a few if you really think about it. And But here, here's some of the reasons. If you think of the reasons, you can really see how this can occur. You know, one, we have lack of sleep due to long daylight hours. A lot of people stay up a lot later at night as it could be light into the mm-hmm. 10 o'clock at night. Two, self-esteem issues. If you're not happy and everybody is feeling how wonderful things are and telling you that, and you're saying, well, I just don't feel that way. Financial concerns due to the cost of summer activities for children and family vacations. You have body image situations, if you do, because it's the time for bathing suits and summer clothing. Another is too much sun, heat, and humidity. Difficulty effectively managing so many activities going on simultaneously in a house because during the winter, a lot of times, people don't spend that much time outside, but all of a sudden, everything changes in the summer. Right. So if you have this, what do you do? You know, What are things that you could do, Dave? And this gets into, of course, my work or anybody who's trying to look at things to overcome if you get these feelings. One, you need really adequate sleep. Two, you've got to have reasonable exercise and not overdoing it. Three, you need good financial planning. And this is really important, particularly with the cost of, of you know, gas and everything going up oh, these boy, days. For sure. But, but good financial planning for vacations and other family-related okay. activities. You've mm-hmm. got to have reasonable and healthy eating and use of alcohol beverages. Five, planning time effectively so you don't feel overwhelmed. Six, claim your summer in a way that is mentally and physically healthy for you. And don't allow others to define how happy you need to be. And mm. just make sure you get done what you want to get done. And then if you do feel appropriate, number seven here, um, seek out professional medical and psychological personnel. So summer can be difficult. And I mention it here not because I want people to be unhappy, because I think really most people are excited and happy as the weather gets better. This morning may be being an exception to things getting better. Well, um, but, but, well, you know, are, but, but, but I'll say this. The sun, you know. The sun is out, and 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 I, I want to ask you about that part. Now, when when I think of seasonal affective disorder, I think of the people, and I've worked with people um, who have the special lights in their office. Okay, yes, and sure, and and it, and and I sat down with one. Um, she told me she had been diagnosed a number of years before, and I asked her. I said, "Does that really?" This, if I see this light, I just want to turn it up because it doesn't seem like it's quite doing it for me here. So what does it do for you? She goes, it, it gives me just a, a better, more a comforting feeling. But if the light is what's bothering you in the summer, like it's going on too late at night, and that can affect me sometimes with doing the show. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to go to bed. Look, this, the sun's out, but I got to go to bed um, to get ready for it. You know what I'm saying? If the sure. light is, is what's causing people problems in the summer, how do they counter if it, 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 it's not like you can plug something in like you do in the winter time what, what's this what's the antidote to that in the summer for, for the sad portion well, well you could go to movie theaters of course <laughs> that's dark, dark. Empty. okay right and, sure and you also could turn on your air conditioner okay which you can infect in fact, certainly okay. some of the heat and humidity. You sure. also can really, you can actually go into your room or go into a room this dark. I mean, there can be too much of anything, as the old say, Aristotle sumum bonum. So for some people, there can be too much light, and this can kind of change our equilibrium inside us. So these are things that we can do, just control the environment, just like we do in the winter. We control, like you say, with with the the, you know, the light boxes are called, and those can be helpful. Oh, to you. But in the that's winter, right. That's what that, you're right. Thanks for getting me on that work because I yeah. I had forgotten about that. But they they just put out this kind of um, I, I just call it a kind of a soft glow uh, that looks different than anything else, like up on the wall or. You know, a the typical room lamp. And um, but she told me it worked remarkably well. It really helped her. 
And, and I've um, worked with many people where, where it has helped, Dave, and can be. And, but you have kind of this odd thing in the summer where there can be too much light, too much time. Your, wow. your, your, clock, your clock goes off. Like if you go to bed at 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, and all of a sudden it's light so late at night, um, you can turn your whole clock off. And, and when this occurs, then you can start having problems with insomnia and not getting enough sleep because really the best way if you have insomnia or sleep pattern problems is to pick certain times you're going to go to bed, certain times you're going to get up and try to be as consistent as you can be. In summer, of course, turns that whole thing off. Now, mind you, we don't want to sound like we're negative because we all love summer pretty much. However, I have to qualify with that all because there I just said it there. It's an easy thing to say. We all love summer. Well, there, well, there are some a pen- people that It's like golf. Love- the doc called a penalty on himself. Uh, there. It's, <laughs> well, it's like the only you know, game where you call I, a penalty on yourself, but it it's well, true. Yeah, and they, they, Making a point, though, because if you hear that, let's say you're depressed, you're having a bad day, yeah. you're just, you've got some major depressive disorder, you know, and all of a sudden everybody says, what a wonderful day. Ho, 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 ho. Here we are, summer. Let's go. Let's have a great day. And you're going, oh, oh my goodness, I'm kind of worn out. I'm tired. You, you've got these symptoms of things that wear you out. And then yeah. all of a sudden, you've got Chucky over there telling you the, the most wonderful time of the year and all, and then all of a sudden get the kids off to camp and get your, get your camper ready. And you're going to be off for three, three a week or two. And all of a sudden you're looking at the hotels are more expensive. Gas is four fifty a gallon. You're looking at your checkbook and you're saying, wow, you know, this is, this could be stressful. And then there's old Chucky. Duh, 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 everything is great. Ho, ho, ho. So <laughs> it can be a difficult time for some people. So let's okay. be sensitive to yeah. that. That makes I, sense. I, I, I get it. And I fall into that trap. I mean, you know, we're, this is broadcasting, so we're sw- throwing a pretty big net, but I'll, I definitely have a, a a chipper step in the summertime, and uh, because it's my favorite season, and I know that even after doing the show in a day, there's a lot of daylight left, and I could go later on in the day and play nine holes of golf, and maybe still put something on the grill. I I adore it, but I understand that it's not for everybody, and some people that will be here in Michigan, as you know, especially as you go back and forth from Michigan to Miami, the heat. And last week, and I was in a place where, in you know, middle of May, it was 97 degrees. And I mean, I'm, I realize again, this is why people, you know, this south of the Mason-Dixon line, uh, Doc. This is why people amble around. Okay, you're not a real rush. You're t- you're fighting the sun, but you're like, I'm going to move at a certain pace. I'm moving, but I'm not going to rush it here because of the heat and the humidity. But for some people, they won't come out of the house, will they? I'm going to put the AC on. I can't stand it. Or the humidity yeah, that, gives that, me a migraine. I can't stand it. I get that. Well, that it's hard. That is true. That, that there's some people that need to be in Seattle during the summer. How does that sound? Seattle's beautiful. Well, you know what? Heavy. All right. Now I'm just saying Seattle's beautiful. <laughs> it's it's the one it's the one time of year where you can count on maybe a month without rain or very little. So it's it's gorgeous, but it's not that hot most years. And some people right. just can't take the heat. And humidity. So I could, if you if you are not a heat and humidity person, I could see summer being a drag. It very much could be. Well, that this that is true, Dave. And I guess this is a time we might just be aware there are people amongst us that have these issues, and it's a and it's a concern. And so if someone's depressed, we don't want to just be telling them, "Oh, don't be depressed. Go outside and get some more time, or stay up tonight and watch the sunset, or watch where the sun's going." And, 10 o'clock. Um, no, not everybody's set up that way. When no, you are, you, you're right. You've got, if, you've got a, if you've got a routine, you want to, you go to bed at 930, then, you know, go to bed at 930, do it year round, be consistent what? and, and then just try to get the best out of each season that we have. And just, and if we need, we can seek out, um, you know, we can seek out medical support. We can seek out psychological support. There are things Would that you we say can the do. summer one doc um, affects people less uh, the, more or about the same as the winter seasonal effective. Is it pretty? I think winter, winter much more. I think much winter, more, okay. winter. I, I think much more because it's it's much, so much more restrictive. Because in the summer you still can be doing things. You do have you do have the sunlight. There there are more mm, positives right. within it. There are some people that are depressed year round. So really, we're not talking Doesn't about that, yeah. seasonal yeah, effective exactly. disorder. But I'd say as a whole, the winter right. is far more restrictive. 
But the, it's summer, certainly. I think another thing, too, you can control the summer more than you can the winter. You can't turn on the sun at 7 o'clock at night or 6 o'clock in the winter when it's already dark at 5. <laughs> so so I think that uh, – but there are certainly right. a number of people that have it. But I would say winter would clearly be the – the one that would certainly have far and away the most. But that doesn't minimize if you're one of the ones who has it in the summer. All right. And it's uh, some good, though, some good tips today uh, from the good doctor here. And again, asking for help is always a big step in the right direction. Uh, this podcast is where the other ones, it will, it will be very shortly, where all the other ones reside at Dr. John B. Dot com. Dr. John Braccio, Regional Psychological Services in East Lansing. It's always good to talk to you, Doc. Uh, no Thank summertime you, blues.